Hello children, in this video, we are going to do some real life applications of fundamental operations, which means we are going to learn how to apply our knowledge of the four fundamental operations in real life situations. You already know that there are four fundamental operations in mathematics. Addition, the terms of which are addend and sum. Subtraction, the terms are minuend, subtrend and difference. Multiplication, the terms are multiplicand, multiplier and product. And division, the terms of which are dividend, divisor and quotient. Let's begin with the first question. A publisher sells 3,43,851 books of Hindi, 8,26,551 books of English, and 7,32,151 books of mathematics. Find the total number of books sold by the publisher. We have to find the total number of books sold, which clearly means that we have to add. So, begin with the first statement. Number of Hindi books sold, which is 3,43,851. The second statement is number of English books sold. Write the number 8,26,551. And the third statement is number of mathematics books sold, 7,32,151. Before we add to get the answer, we have to write the final statement. Therefore, total number of books sold. Now put the plus sign and add the three numbers. The sum is 19,2553. Write the answer in the end. And remember when you write the answer, you must not forget to insert the commas and write the unit. Here the answer is 19,2553 books. Moving on to the next question. Meghna chose a dress costing rupees 12,650. She was short of the required money by rupees 1,285. How much money she had with her? In this question, Meghna is short of a required amount of money and you have to find how much money she had with her, for which you have to subtract. But before we start solving, there is an important point that I would like to explain. In this question, we are calculating money, not any number of articles. And when we calculate money, the term used for money is amount, not number. Do not write number of money or number of rupees. Both are incorrect. When we spend money to buy something, we can use the term cost instead of amount. So, in short, the terms used for money are amount or cost. Definitely not number. So, let's begin with the first statement. Meghna wanted to buy a dress, which means we can use the term cost in the first statement. Write cost of dress, rupees 12,650. The next statement will be the amount that she was short of, that she required. So, we'll write amount Meghna was short of, which is rupees 1,285. And the final statement is, therefore, amount she had with her, put the minus sign and subtract, the difference is 11,365. We'll write the answer is equal to 11,365. Don't forget the comma and the unit for money is rupees which will be written before the number. Answer is equal to rupees 11,365. Third question. Ramesh won rupees 5 lakh in a lottery. Out of this money, he bought a car for rupees 1,75,000 a house for rupees 2,28,000, gave rupees 50,000 for charity and deposited the remaining money in the bank. 
how much money did he deposit in the bank here also we are calculating money and the terms used when we calculate money are amount or when money is spent to buy something we can use the term cost ramesh won money in a lottery that will be amount ramesh won then he spent money to buy a car and a house so the statements will be cost of car and cost of house he gave money for charity which is not something that is bought so the statement will be amount given for charity and finally when money is deposited in the bank there also the statement will be amount deposited in the bank let's start solving in this question you have to find the amount of money that was deposited in the bank for which you have to subtract but the amount that has to be subtracted is the sum of money that he spent to buy the car and the house and the amount he gave for charity which means that first we must add to get the total amount spent and then subtract to get the amount deposited in the bank so clearly this is a question with both addition and subtraction let's begin with the first statement cost of car 175000 cost of house 228000 amount given for charity 50000 hence the total amount spent is the sum of all the three put the plus sign and when you add the sum is 4 lakh 53000 now this amount has to be subtracted from the amount that ramesh won in the lottery right amount ramesh won 5 lakh amount he spent we have calculated 4 lakh 53000 therefore amount deposited in the bank put the minus sign and subtract the difference is 47000 the answer is equal to 47000 and the unit is rupees write the unit before the number rupees 47000 next question a shopkeeper sells 16520 packets of milk each packet cost rupees 25 how much money did he get at the end we have to find the amount that the shopkeeper earned by selling 16520 packets of milk at the rate of rupees 25 per packet for which we will use multiplication so write the first statement number of milk packets sold 16520 the cost of one packet is rupees 25 and to get the answer the statement will be therefore total amount he got for which you have to multiply the two numbers so write 16520 into 25 below that arrange the numbers and multiply the multiplier is 25 which is a large number so we'll use long multiplication to get the product first multiply by 5 82600 then put the zero and multiply by 2 33040 then add both the numbers the product is 413000 that's the answer rupees 413000 do not forget the commas and the unit one last question before we end on republic day 8289 flags were equally hoisted in 10 different cities how many flags were hoisted in each city also calculate how many flags were left over this is clearly a question on division where you have to divide the total number of flags hoisted by the number of cities so we'll write the first statement number of flags hoisted 8289 number of cities 10 and to get the answer the statement is therefore number of flags hoisted in each city for which we have to divide 8289 by 10 write that division statement and when we divide by 
the quotient is 828 and we get a remainder equal to 9. The quotient 828 is the number of flags hoisted in each city and the remainder 9 is the number of flags that were left over. You must write both the answers. 828 flags hoisted in each city and 9 flags left over.